I will be discussing how to install pre-compiled Python binaries. Uh, they are called wheels and the file um, termination will be WHL. So these wheels are pre-compiled binaries that somebody uh, already uh, created and we will basically download these wheels and install them in Python. So once you have installed Python, you will most likely need to install some sort of package. Whether you're doing data manipulation or database processing or machine learning or statistics, you will certainly need a specific package. And the easiest way to do that is by using these wheels. So here I will be using the PIP installer that comes with Python and I will be installing a few wheels using uh, this PIP installer in Windows uh, in 32 bits. So the first thing that you need to do is to identify which is the package that you want to install. I'll be here um, installing uh, NumPy plus MKL and the reason I am doing that is because NumPy is the most important uh, package in Python. It is absolutely necessary and pretty much every package over there uses it. So examples of that are for example um, scikit-learn which is used a lot for machine learning um, and it uses uh, NumPy and SciPy. So you need to install um, both of them. So as I said uh, NumPy is a fundamental package and the first thing uh, that you need to decide when you're installing wheels is which version you want to install so it's always a good idea to install the latest one here in NumPy you can see that I have 1.12 which is the latest one um, so that's the one uh, I should be installing and then I need to choose which is the CPython distribution I am running so which is CP in my case, I am using 3.6, so that's the one I should be downloading. But if you install a previous Python version, such as 3.5 or 3.4, you need to choose the appropriate one. And the third thing you need to decide is whether you need a 32 bits or a 64 bits uh, distribution. So um, the easiest way to check that is to open um, Python. So let's see how that uh, goes. Uh, it's still opening, but here you can see that this is a 32 uh, bit win 32. So this is the one I need. Um, if you're running on an AMD or a 64 bits uh, distribution, you need to obviously choose this one or this one or this one according to which C Python version you have. So once you download that. Um, you can place them wherever you want. Uh, I think the easiest way, uh, and if you don't want to get confused, you can just do exactly what I'm doing here. You can put them under the scripts folder of your Python installation. So if I go back to my Python installation, you can see that I have um, a folder here, which is called scripts. So let's see what's inside. And here you can see that I have this uh, very, very important uh, file, which is called the PIP installer. So I'll do pip.x and then install. And then I need to put the name of the package that I will be installing. So in my case, this will be uh, numpy 1.12. Plus MKL and so on. So all the name that I have here, um, I won't be doing that. But essentially, after you just uh, put the name there, you need to press Enter, and NumPy will be installed. An important uh, thing here is that we have an additional parameter which is called um, minus U, which will instruct Python or the PIP installer to update the package in case it is already installed. And that happens 
For example, if you have already installed, let's say, NumPy 1.11.3 and then you want to install NumPy 1.12.0. So if you don't specify the minus U, when this gets executed, um, basically nothing will happen. Uh, PIP will tell us that essentially the package was already there and it won't do anything. So if you specify minus U, it will replace replace and update the existing package. And the final thing um, here is always remember to first install um, NumPy plus MKL and SciPy before installing all the rest um, of the packages. I think this leads to many, many errors. Um, and many people say, why, why is my package not working? And in many cases, it's because they don't uh, or they didn't um, respect this order. So always remember to, to install NumPy and then do the same thing for um, SciPy. And once you have installed both of them, you can install um, basically pretty much everything that you want. So any any package that's here.